Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary has been working with MATE uh, in the ROV competition for over 12 years. We've really thought hosting the International would be a great way to bring more attention to this incredible program. This competition is a partnership with the Marine Technology Society. We said we'd love to work with you because we know how important it is to get industry professionals involvement in education. First of all, everyone needs to understand that ROV technology is really relatively new. The offshore industry started using ROVs in the mid-70s. That's not that long ago. And the growth has been phenomenal. What's happened now with these kids is they see that. They get inspired, then they come here and they get even more inspired, and then they wind up having careers. The competition themes change every year, and we do that to really expose students to the whole gamut of the marine world. It's not just about underwater robots working offshore in the oil and gas industry. And as part of being the host, often the mission revolves around the place that's hosting the mission. We're coming to Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary. Clearly, shipwrecks. It's got to be shipwrecks. see more ingenuity going into the bots when you are more limited. And it's, it's fascinating to see what they can put together. 13 years ago, most of the robots were made out of PVC, and the, the designs were crude. Today, you're finding machined parts. You're finding the maturity level of the, the robots have really increased. Good morning. We are so pleased and excited to be here at the Thunder Bay National Marine Sanctuary in Albany, Michigan. Here at the international competition, we had 59 teams representing 18 states and 13 countries. It was by far our biggest event. What those students have learned, even if they don't go in a technical field, they've gained a, an appreciation for science, technology, and engineering math. We're helping to create this scientific, technical, engineering literate society. And how'd your first run go? Well, the missions themselves are very complex in the perfect conditions. The, the, the judge, uh, Mike's going to be your timekeeper. Clock's running. And what MATE's about is really preparing students for the real world. I'm Lee Randall, and I'm with Shore. The, um, we are the Sea Wolves. We are from Western Mississippi. I am the designer, and I'll also be stitching pictures of the shipwreck. I actually designed the manipulator that is on our ROV. Uh, my major is drafting and designing. <laughs> we are Jesuit High School, and we are from Carmichael, California. So every year our competition practice and preparation tends to follow a pretty set pattern. Um, a lot of design testing and then towards the end of our season we have extensive practice runs anticipating any and all mission scenarios. I think our secret weapon is really how close the team is. It helps uh, increase operational efficiency but also reduces the amount of time we have to spend working out problems with each other. So we can see it's black. Deck crew, please help us bleed air. So Nolan, how's the bleed? Are we bleeding? Yes. Okay. Slight issue uh, that we're diagnosing right now with our buoyancy, uh, active buoyancy in the front. But uh, aside from that, mechanically everything worked well. One of the things that I appreciate is that this event makes the students look at a mission as a, a scientific endeavor in which they're building a vehicle that has engineering attributes to solve 
problems with that scientific endeavor. In addition to that, they must communicate about it. They have to write a technical report. They have to do an oral presentation to a panel of judges. Here at Special Water Review Service, we think it's very important to implement systematic safety procedures. This event, I've been with it for almost from the beginning. It's one of the high points of my year and even of my life. I just love it. There's kids at this conference from all over the world and they're working together and they're helping each other and they're cheering for each other. This is a souvenir from Hong Kong. Yeah, so this is from a team. So, yeah, so you're welcome to the full package. So maybe we can take the photo with it's, you. It is very important for the young people and for our industries and our universities and our science because this is what's going to feed the future when old guys like me are gone. Start your setup time in three, two, one, you're on the clock. What this conference does is teach thousands, literally thousands of kids about the opportunities they have. This competition opens eyes. It's just a really good experience because you get to meet all these people from around the world. You know, we all look at the news and there's always gloomy stuff about crazy people and wars and, and people fighting. Uh, there is another part of the world where, where people care. They are a new generation and they have new technologies and new tools. The world's going to be all right when, when, I, when I see these kids. Remember, it's the learning experience. Right. It's the journey. It's not whether you go home with first place. I hope regardless of what happens, you leave here having had a fantastic experience.